In this video, we will see how to connect any SQL client to BI server within Oracle Analytics using the BI JDBC driver. With this capability, the logical or business model layer within BI server becomes available for querying and we can use third-party SQL applications like DBverse, Squirrel, etc. to execute logical SQLs against the BI server. We will do this in a three-step approach. Generate client private key and client certificate on external client machine. Register the BI JDBC application in IDCS. Create connection from external client to Oracle Analytics using BI JDBC. To start with, we need to download the public JDBC driver jar file available as part of developer client tools for OAC from tools downloads URL. I have downloaded the BI JDBC driver jar here. Let's create client private key and certificate file using git bash prompt with the following commands and the options as shown in this video. And then let's export the generated files to the location in the client machine as shown here. You can see the generated files over here. Now let's log on to Oracle Identity Cloud Services with the following credentials to create the application. Let's create a new application by clicking on add button over here and let's select confidential applications. Let's give the application a name and say next. Let's configure the application by selecting resource owner and JWT assertion as allowed grant types and trusted clients as security and let's import the certificate created in the previous step and say open here and provide an alias for the certificate and click import. Let's scroll down a bit and add scope to our application. Scroll down and select this resource and say add. Let's copy the scope URL and store it in a notepad for further use. Now let's grant the client access by selecting identity domain administrator and me and say add now let's select next next again and finish let's copy the client id and secret and store it in a notepad for further use close this dialog and let's activate the application now. Now let's modify the BIJDBC properties file with appropriate details captured from the previous steps like client ID, client scope, etc. Let's copy the client ID from the notepad and let's provide it against IDCS client ID in the properties. Let's do the same with the scope as well. Let's copy the scope URL captured from the previous step and let's add it against IDCS client scope in the properties file. Don't forget to change the right location for the certificate files. And let's add these two entries in the file and let's save it. Let's open a SQL client like Squirrel to create a connection with BI server. Click on drivers and click add new driver. In the extra class path, we are going to add the BI JDBC driver jar file that we downloaded in the first step. Say open and provide a name to the driver, test BI JDBC and example URL in the following format. Copy this and paste it over here in the example URL and provide a class name and say OK. Now let's create an alias. Click add new alias and select BI JDBC driver that was created in the previous step and give a name to the alias and test the connection. Once it is successful, we can go ahead and connect to the BI server. Now we are connected to the BI server, we can start issuing SQL queries to the server directly. I'm going to issue a query 
from the donations example and fetch 40 rows. So you can see the output in the results tab. Thanks for watching the video.